We are reaching, are we starting to reach the end of this tutorial with only two parts left, interface and the EMB and Oblivion Reloaded. And afterwards we can do some tweaks, but we'll come to that. But when it comes to modding, uh, we only have two sections left. Now, this interface part is quite a story because I did already do everything twice from this list. Uh, I actually did record this part twice already, but for some reason, um, my game crashes when I install Ry uh, sorry, Darnified UI. Um, it's pretty weird because the last time uh, I did install all the mods, everything did run fine and I have no idea why it is causing it. The thing I do know is that Oblivion do not, does not like it when you are uninstalling and reinstalling mods, even if when they're at the end of the uh, mod list. So let me delete this mod as well, because that's a leftover from the uh, from the try the things I tried. But yeah, that's a problem for me at least because I can't get it to work. Darn the fight UI. Um, for that, we can either do two things. The first thing is just to skip it. Uh, I mean, Darnified UI is not as required as Sky UI is for Skyrim, but it's nice, but not super recommended. However, uh, because it doesn't work at me, does definitely not mean it should not work at you, because I think it crashes my game because I messed a lot with the last couple of mods. So let me explain you briefly what you can do if you want to install it. First of all, what you want, you, what you can do is install it with Rybash. That's the more complicated way, not super complicated. Or you can do it with Oblivion Mod Manager. But I would say maybe uh, the Rybash installer for Darnified UI is the most easiest one. So what you want to do is open up Rybash installer for Darnified UI. And you want to install, let me check that, Darnified UI. Mm -mm, I do have my, all of my mods here. So interface we are, and the one that you need is the Darn Bane Wizard. But again, this is not necessarily needed, but I'm going to show you anyway if you want to have uh, Darnified UI. You want to Darn Bane Wizard, then what you can do is go to your Installers tab, and um, let me check. You want to drag and drop Darn Bane Wizard in your list here. Then you want to right click on it and click on Install. After you've done that, you, what you want to do is the following. You want to go to BOSS to load, uh, to sort your load order. And then what you want to do is right click on Bash Patch. Also again, click on Rebuild Patch, uh, patch for the beta. And then what you want to do is click on this uh, checkbox and make sure you also check Darnified Box. And then you want to build your patch and you want to make sure that the best Patch is again at the bottom of the load order. Again, I'm not going to do that because for some reason it crashes my Oblivion. That also proves that the Oblivion framework still is not super 100% trustworthy. I mean, I also had it a couple of times in the past that my game crashed because of an EMB. And like, uh, yeah, 99 out of 100 times it, uh, it works fine. But there were a couple of times uh, I got issues with it or it just crashed my game. So that's up for Darnified UI. If you then install it, what you want to do uh, is you want to copy these lines and you want to go to your oblivion oblivion.ini which is located in your my documents my games oblivion.ini and you want to paste these directly under this tag funds then you know if it then check your game if it works great um if your game also crashes uh, because for me it crashes when i paste these uh, lines underneath funds if it also crashes delete these lines again delete the mod and just leave like it is an alternative way what you can do is download Oblivion Mod Manager and you can download this file which is eventually an O mod. And let me show you how it looks. You will have um, Darnified UI O mod. You can extract it and you will have this O mod and then you just activate it in Oblivion Mod Manager. The, the good thing is that Oblivion mod, this mod will automatically add these values in the ini file. The bad thing is that you need a different uh, mod manager extra just for Darnified UI. So again, it's up to you. Um, I'm not going to do this because it crashes my game and it's not necessarily needed. Um, but again, now you know how to deal with it. As an, and as an additional mod for Darnified UI, you can also install Darnified UI config add-on. Uh, it's just a simple download, drag and drop it into your installers tab and right click on it and select install. All right, 
Then we have some good stuff. That's dynamic map. Uh, install a red rye bash if you want. And let's see. Um, and also let's open up alpha map for shivering owls. So let me check that I actually show you guys how to do that. So download the main mod dynamic map and also download the alpha map for shivering owls. So let's, I would say let's first do that. So we are now going to proceed with the dynamic map mod. And again, only do this, uh, or uh, this is always possible, even if you haven't installed Darnified UI. So the, the dynamic map contains multiple ESPs. What you want to have is the core version and you want to have, or at least it's up to you, but I prefer the alpha map. All right, and then we also have the alpha map for Shivering Owls. So drag and drop it directly underneath it. Oh, we of course want to install the dynamic map because we only check the plugins now uh the sub packages i should say and the alpha map we also want to install so all right that's it so far let's see what more mods do we have we have also custom spell icons uh also i'm not going to it's a cool mod but i'm not going to install it because come on because i'm using 1440p resolution and that's higher than 1080p which means the uh, arrow in the inventory doesn't work, which is quite annoying, I can say from my experience. But it are cool icons, as you can see here. It looks pretty cool. But again, it's up to you. If you want to install it, just uh, drag and drop it and make sure to uh, install it the same way. Now, we have a couple of other optional stuff, but I definitely do like it. It's the uh, Woman Class Portraits, Pick Me, Loot Menu, and high risk Local Map. Um, yeah, you can, let's see, because you need to do a couple of tweaks. I'm going to skip it because I don't really care about it super much. Uh, let's see, so the ones I do like are the women's class portraits, the pick me for the lock picks, um, which is nice, I think looks uh, good. It's a nice overhaul and the loot menu, which you perhaps know from the Fallout series. I think this is pretty nice. So those are the mods I'm going to install. And let's see, is there anything else? Now I'm going to skip the community loading screens and the high res local map, but it's up to you. If you want them, feel free to download and install them. So then Darn Fight UI, next one is the women class portraits for me. Um, right click install. Then we have the lock pick overall, the pick me. All right, right click install. Okay, uh, and we have the loot menu, which is the last mod I'm going to install. And again, um, yeah, I'm pretty sorry I could not show you how Darnified UI looks, but for some reason, again, it crashed for me. What you want to do, regardless if you have installed um, uh, Darnified UI or not, you want to now run boss again to fix the load order. Okay, and there's still that one mod. The potion replacer you want to drag and drop it above um let's see we forgot to actually let's see i have a darnified ui config add-on which i should delete but you should um also activate loot menu and dynamic map because I, I think we did forget to activate that from the last couple of months we did install. And then you want to rebuild your patch. And again, if you have installed a Darnified UI, if you have done that, make sure you check by tweak uh, asserted, assorted to also check Darnified books. Then build a patch and let's wait for it. And now it is very critical at this point that you check the game. Let, let's wait for this. Um, that you check the game for crashes because after this we're going to install oblivion reloaded which sometimes can cause issues for the game and we are going to install dmb which appears for a lot of you guys to be the most critical part of all the modding because it could crash your game i have to say mostly i think it's because a lot of you people still have installed oblivion in c program files 86 because then you have issues with administrative rights and it doesn't work also, I think a lot of AMD people have issues with EMBs. I'm not really sure why that is, but uh, since I'm yeah using Intel and Nvidia, I can't really recall that issue. So now what you want to do, click on, click on bashed patch, click close, um, click okay. Make sure your best patch is activated and then go into the game, make absolutely 100% sure everything runs fine because if not, you know which part it is causing this and that is something from the interface and most likely it will be your Darnify UI. Um, 
but yeah that's a good time to test it right now also if you have issues with the plugins because i sometimes have that as well with darnified ui all of a sudden it doesn't find the plugins anymore which i did install at the beginning just uninstall it i know it's it's crap that you can't use it anymore but it's not worth it crashing your game so that's pretty much it for this part let's get into the game and yeah test make sure you test it and then i'll see you guys at the one of the last parts now it is really time to start the last couple of things that is emb and oblivion reloaded and do the oblivion any tweaks so um when you expand the emb and oblivion reloaded you don't see much except for see my other file it's here um it's a bit confusing because not everything is explained here but let me try to explain what we need to do in this list so first of all let me check my installation order the first thing we need is oblivion reloaded as i said before oblivion reloaded is such a great tool and it allows you to uh it al the mod allows you to change so much and just completely enhance a framework from oblivion this is the uh, version which, um, if you perhaps know Oblivion Graphics Extender, this is like a super, super, super upgraded version of it, which is compatible with an EMB. So that's really awesome. So what you want to do is open up Oblivion Reloaded. They're not hosted at um, Nexus Mods anymore. They have their own website now. And what you want to do is go to Downloads and Download. Let's see, I think the package, to be honest, it's quite a while since I did download this because I change it all the time. Here is the one you want version uh, 7.1.0. Let me double check if I have the same version. Yes, I do have. So download that, this is the latest version. And then what you want to do, you can just simply add this in your right bash by going to your installers tab, track and drop it into right bash and just right click and install it. That's pretty much it. It comes with a DLL file and you absolutely absolutely want to have it. All right, and before we're going to forget it, we want to make sure that we have Oblivion reloaded, uh, that ESP checked. Okay, great, we can close it now. Now we need to have the following. Let me check that for you guys. We need to download the EMB series. Okay, here are the EMB series. So open up this link and these are the binary files. Um, uh, for which are needed for Oblivion uh, for the EMB. So you want to download this, the EMB series, and then it will look something like this, EMB Oblivion. You only need, so open up the package, you only need one file, and that is from the wrapper version d3d9.dll. You want to copy this. Am I allowed to copy that? Else I'm going to drag it here. So this is the thing you only want. Let me double check it for you. So we want to have d3 d9 l from the wrapper version once you did extract or copy or cut that file whatever make sure you have that dll file from the wrapper wrapper version you want to go to your oblivion main game folder and you want to paste the d3 d9 dll in there all right so far so good let's see um Okay, the thing is we want to disable this line in our Oblivion at any. If you don't do this and you will enter the water, the water start disappearing. At least the visual effect will disappear. You'll still be swimming when there's no water because it disappears. And this is especially with Nvidia cards. So you want to do the following. You want to go back to your My Documents, My Games Oblivion uh, folder. And then you want to open up oblivion.ini. And then you want to search for water D or water displacement. And you want to set this to zero. Okay, then we can close and save this. All right, and let's see. I, we must not use an enhanced camera. That's not what we want to do. Okay, this preset has been tested with two EMBs. Okay, okay. So you want now monkey EMB or cinematic EMB, but monkey EMB is, um, for me, it gave issues with the EMB itself. So. For dark and more realistic feeling, cinematic EMB, I really love cinematic EMB because I think um, it looks very great, it has zero issues and it fits perfectly with our realistic trees and grass mod. So go for cinematic EMB, the absolute best choice for now and download. Let's see, let's double check because I think I also um, did download a couple of other things. Um, so you want to download yeah, the cinematic EMB and the alternate depth, alternate depth of field um, and, and then make sure you download it. 
So let's see. Um, once we did do that, we th I think we can just copy the files to our main game folder. Let me check that. What's the uh, instruction requirements? EMB series, yes. So uh, download and extract. Okay. Copy D3. Yeah, okay, we do that. Copy my files to the same directory. So, okay, so turn on the HDR and game launcher and turn off the reaction sh refraction shader in oblivion.ini file. Okay. Let me check if we're able to find that because I, to be honest, I didn't do that last time. So refraction shader needs to be disabled, it seems. Okay, let's do that then. Okay, what does it say more? Disable overlay, that's also important. What you want to do here is, I think it was shift now, it was, um, let me check that for you. So you want to go to Oblivion, properties, um, and here you can disable the Steam overlay while well in game. Make sure you do that as well, because else you might have some issues with the game. Okay, that's all good. Um, mm -mm. Okay, turn on, okay, okay, okay. So far so good. So now we can just extract the cinematic EMB. So you can, let's see, um, let's see, just open the Oblivion main game folder and just drag and drop all the stuff from, is that really all? It seems to be, okay. Just drag and drop it into here, into your main game folder, these three files. And we do have alternative DAF, which is this one. Okay, and we can also just drag and drop it into here. All right. Let's see, so that should be all. Okay, it appears so. Um, all right, let's see what Bevelex says we need to do. And now you can uh, use his preset for Oblivion Reloaded. So download the OR 7.0 preset. And I think this is just a text file for his Oblivion Reloaded. Could be mistaken, but let's double check that just to be sure. Why is my window not popping up? No idea. So the preset contains, okay, it actually contains more things. So you want to uh, also select those and you want to go to your Oblivion main game folder. Yeah, it's a little bit of a, um, let's see, a uh, little bit of a search here. So then you want to go to your data folder and then you want to drag and drop these two files and make sure you replace everything. And then I think we're good to go, but let me check that for you. So let's see, this is all done so far. Cinematic EMB, if you enable HDR, and see nothing except the game menu to instead of false force and video card. Okay, okay. Self shadowing if you want to enable self shadowing. All right, okay, that's it, I think, so far. Um, so let me check that just to be sure. Did we do everything right? I think so. So installation, we did install Oblivion Reloaded. We did install the EMB series with D3, D9, DLL. We displaced uh, water uh, displacement, okay. We, <laughs> we're not using an ads camera because the game will crash it. So monkey EMB, download and install the main file. Don't forget to install the D3.9 from the requirement. Download and install Oblivion Reloaded, install with right bash. Then install after Oblivion Reloaded my preset, it will overwrite some of its any files. Oh, that was for monkey, sorry. So um, the installation is the same. Okay, first, then a Oblivion Reloaded, then a preset. Note, if your hands are blurry with this EMB, that's because of depth of field. Yeah, I think you want to disable depth of field. I don't think it looks that good on Oblivion, and Skyrim looks a lot better. So you want to go to um, the main game folder, then you want to go to, let's see where we can change it, Oblivion EMB series, and Enable depth of field. Want to search for it. Depth of field. Make sure you change that to false. All right. And while we are here, I think we can now also adjust some of the um, 
Uh, any settings from Bevelex, I think that's a good thing to do here. So, okay, so this are his in-game settings, which we can um, use maybe later on. Um, let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. If you're, that's why parameters are not set to the max, you can set fade to the maximum if you want. Okay, okay. All right, yeah, this, these were the set settings I was looking for. So let's go back to our Oblivion in your My Documents, My Games uh, Oblivion folder, and there you'll find Oblivion at any. And let's see. Um, so let's, I would say, let's make sure we have the same values as Bevelex because I think it's pretty awesome um, how his game looks. So let's see, flight a lot. I have to drag and drop my um, text file a little bit because a microphone is in the middle of the screen. So this is better. Let's see, F light lot two is, uh, what is it, 6,000. So make sure you take over these values, but I'll do it with you guys, don't worry. And F light lot is 4,000. All right. Um, mm -mm -mm. Okay, F cross start fade to distance, grass start fade distance. So let's see, this is the value, right? F grass start fade distance. F grass start fade distance. It's 11,000. 11,000. F cross end distance. So F cross end distance. That's 12,000. And this has all to do with uh, seeing stuff from further away. Uh, he also explains it here, what exactly this value does. This one is very, very, very important. I min grass size. Let me show you that. The funny thing is the uh, lower the number is, the more dense the grass is. So you want to change it to five, that's a very dense uh, way, but it's a very, very um, important size. Also for the grass start uh, fade, um, let's see. So the F grass start fade distance, F grass start fade distance is 11,000. Let's see, but did we change this, right? Didn't we do that? Uh, no, we did change this size. So F grass start fade distance is 11,000 and F cross end distance is 12,000. All right, let me check. Did we do that right? So which did we change to 12,000? Okay, there's F grass and start fade distance here. That's weird that it's here twice. To be honest, or is it already the same values? That's also possible, of course. Now there is something under grass, and there is something under display. That's weird. That's really, really weird. But anyway, let's just edit both of them. That's really weird. I mean, but this, these are the ones that we really want under grass. That's the ones we want to change. So I'm in grass size, and all these values are okay. Uh, it makes grass more dense, all right. Also, we have the reflections here, so that's all good. Um, so let's see. Let's search for the use water reflections. Water reflections, which are here. B use water reflections, mask zero, statics zero, trees one, that's what we want. Actors zero and water reflections one. Okay. Um, okay, what else do we have? Actor self shadowing is zero. That's what we have as well. And shadows on grass is also zero. All right. Um, now you want to save this. Uh, what you want to do uh, is not yet is setting this any e file to read only because the thing is uh, we want you might want to change some settings in game and what you can do is um, go to your game make sure everything runs fine then we want to maybe change these video settings and then what you want to do is you want to go to your console command and you want to type uh, console save any e. but you know what let's just First, go into game, see everything works. So what we want to do now, as always, is we want to make sure that Oblivion Reloaded, that ESP has been checked. We want to click bus to sort our load order. All right, and then go back to Rybash. Um, you want to drag and drop bash patch 
at the bottom position, right click on it, rebuild the patch and click on build patch and then let's wait. And then it is finally time to check the in-game um, in game stuff. And I go with you with all the settings again. So what I do is just I drag and drop the settings to my next screen and on my primary screen while I will game, I will make sure to adjust the settings with you guys. So everything was good. It's now time for the final test and to make sure everything works and the game does not crash. <laughs> so that's very important, of course. And then it is time to enjoy this wonderful game almost. But first, let's go into game. All right, so we are in game and everything looks pretty good already. Uh, the thing which you probably do notice the most is this, these black bars, this vignette, but it's relatively easy to fix in the ini files. We're going to do that. Uh, first of all, I would say let's focus on the video settings by going to options, go to video. All right, and let me try to check if we have the same uh, settings as Bevelex recommends. So let's see, texture brightness 50%, texture size large. He has pretty much all the stuff um, maxed out except for objects. But it, let's see what it is. Yes, he has actor fade on 75. Maybe for stability, it's good to do that. So actor fade 75, 76. Um, let's see, tree fade 100%. That's great. Item fade 60% also because there are probably not a lot of items and actors uh, which you should care about fading in or fading out. We have the object fade also at 60%. I'm not sure if I agree with that because if with objects that also counts as rocks and stuff. Um, I would say let's leave it 100%. Grass distance and view distance you definitely want to have at 100%. Distant land is on, that's right. Distant buildings are on, distant trees are on. So he has these shadows on five. Let's see, sorry, his settings. So self shadows are off. Yes, that's correct. Shadows on grass uh, is off because else it uh, causes some weird glitches. Okay, let me check what he has more. Shadow filtering high. Um, Yes, we have that specular distance is probably 100%. No, he has a 50%. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Um, HDR, of course, is on because else we can't use the EMB. Water detail high and all this stuff should be okay. Water ripples is off. Yes, it's off. Water reflections is on. Windows reflections is on. Blood decals is high. Okay, and anti-aliasing is off because... Um, uh, because the EMB uses his own anti-aliasing, that's as far as I know. All right, so what you want to do now is go to return because these are the last changes you're going to uh, to. These are the last changes you're going to do in your video options, because we're going to lock the ini file now. And what you want to do is you want to open up your console with typing in tilt, and you want to uh, type in save ini and then press enter. This may take a couple of seconds to load. All right. Then you want to quit the game and then I'll see you guys in game. Uh, sorry, out of game. All right, so let's first fix that letter box effect that those black bars. But if you like them, of course, you can just keep them in. But uh, yeah, I prefer to play in a full screen. So what you want to do is you want to go to your Oblivion main game folder. And there you want to do the following. So let's see. The disabled letter box need to open EMB effect.fx, which is here. And we want to search for the... Uh, what was it? HD6 underscore vignette. So that would be, let's search for vignette. That might be the easiest solution. Vignette um, HD6. Where is it? Here it is. All right. So it must be before uh, bracket. Let's see. Um, before bracket, write this slash slash. So it must be slash slash bracket define HD underscore vignette, all right? That's what it says here. Okay, then you want to save this file. And then I want to go with you through a couple of mods, uh, maybe to the last steps, I should say, before you, um, yeah, before you can, before we can go to the game once more and I'll show you guys some very uh, easy to use console commands. So we did do these tweaks. Um, the thing what you can do now is you want to go to your oblivion.ini and click on properties and you might want to set this to read only. 
what could happen now and i'm to be honest i'm not 100 percent sure if this because uh this happens because you lock oblivion.ini uh to read only so go to oblivion.ini click on properties and select read only click to apply it could happen that every time you start oblivion now the launcher will start where it will say that it will first search for your settings that's a bug but that should be fine um, but nevertheless every once in a while you maybe should check your video settings if they're still the same according to these settings to be honest i'm not 100 percent sure how it is possible sometimes that oblivion still is able to change some of these settings back uh but i had it a couple of times but theoretically it should be impossible theoretically the changes should be permanent right now when you set this to read only so once you do that we are pretty much finished but again i would like to show you guys some great stuff in game some uh, very very easy to use console commands the last section because we want to do it officially is the more mod section this is from bevelax he uh, recommends uh he at least um does some rec recommendation for the gameplay but that's really up to you to be honest i really like the vanilla stuff the best i don't i used a couple of these overhauls but i didn't really like them an example the walking speed was f far slower which might look a little bit realistically at first but it gets annoying um, once you start playing with them um, for the rest for overhauls please be very careful with them because again like i said oblivion really doesn't like it when you uh, go to the installers and you start uninstalling stuff reinstalling stuff sometimes critical stuff doesn't work anymore so and uh, again theoretically it shouldn't be a problem but from my experience uh oblivion doesn't really like it especially for oblivion reloaded and stuff like um uh darn fight ui it can get quite critical for your game and so critical that it's beyond repair and then you really have a problem because then you need to uh uninstall everything and start all over and i'm pretty sure that's not what you want after installing all of this stuff so you can read this if you like uh, i'm not going to do that you might run tests for logan um uh, for an example for skyrim it's absolutely unthinkable that you don't run a landscape generator but to be honest for me it's fine i don't use tests for logan or any landscape log generator uh, i think it's fine already for oblivion how as it is so that's good i'm good enough that's good enough for me so let's see what other mods do i still have after the tutorial yeah uh maybe a thing which can use oblivion fragrance is nice i'm not sure if it's actually there but it will add some um morning mist if i'm not mistaken and some yeah some cool things you can check it up if you want it's not required not necessary so it's up to you uh this one is a forest a very dense forest which is pretty funny uh you can check a youtube video for me uh, where I did install the forest very dense forest looks very cool bag of holding is like an item where you're able to store a limited amount of items but be very careful if you ever reinstall all of your mods make also be also sure to don't forget the bag of holding mod because else all these items are gone if you forget to install the bag of holding when you're doing a reinstallation of everything so that's important if you're going to use this mod and the last mod is a mod I always love that's weather control and that's especially very handy for testing the reason for that is that you're able to force all kind of weather effects and oblivion definitely looks uh different if you're using all these weather effects the thing is only the weather control center starts to bug at a certain point that the effects don't get forced anymore for that i do recommend to go old-fashioned with force weather commands but i will show you that also in the last part where we go into game and that is <laughs> right now because that's pretty much everything i wanted to tell from the tutorial i think it's time now to check our game one more time that the black bars have been removed and then i'm going to show you guys a couple of handy tips after the modding what you can test and what you can do to make sure your oblivion looks awesome so welcome in game this is how it should look fully modded oblivion um like it should from the from the tutorial so i would strongly suggest you're going to use a couple of uh console commands starting with uh let's see tgm for god mode so when creatures attack you you are uh, vulnerable uh but a better one to add on top of that is t detect that means that ai detection will not uh, be uh, uh, there is no ai so that means monsters will not attack you even if they see you, you can just like punch them even and they won't attack back so that's ideal if you just want to walk around and test all of the money 
So, uh, the other thing you want to do maybe just for the test save game, that's really important. So make sure to create a new game maybe or load the save game which you are going to use for uh, testing. Type in TMM space one to have all map markers shown because that means you can now uh, go to all the map markers in game. Also, as you can see, this is the alpha map, so that looks a lot better. Um, so that's great. What you want to test is how the game really looks in broad daylight. And to do that is by forcing the game hour to be noon. And that's by typing in set game hour to an example one o'clock, that's 13. So you will see it looks a lot different. So here is where you can also play a little bit with night settings. So if you want to set game hour to 12 o'clock in the evening or let's say uh, 1 a.m. Then this is how it will look as you can see here. Pretty cool. So do the same trick again for one o'clock. Oops, I press shift plus enter. That's the way to enter the EMB menu, but I wouldn't mess around with it too much. If you want to check some things in it, again, you want to uh, shift enter, but I would suggest you press escape first and then press shift plus enter because that allows you to use the left cursor and to add things in the EMB menu. So if you want to play with those settings, feel free to do that. All right, so what you can check with this, and let me maybe go to a little bit of a more uh, less foresty area. What you can do with the console commands and with the set time is to uh, maybe, let's see if we would set the game hour to 15, so 5 p.m. You will have, let's say, does it work? Maybe 8 a.m. then. Um, you would see the god rays. You would see which side the sun is going up or is going under. And yeah, that's uh, that's a cool effect. But what about weather effects? Because the best way to test your modded oblivion is by setting uh, bright weather and at let's say noon. And bright weather, you can do that. You can force weather effects either with the mod with the weather weather console or with a weather mod where you are allowed to change the settings but the, again the most ideal way would be to uh, force weather effects and you can do it by fw and uh, i will make sure that i will add a link to all the weather effects but an example uh sunny weather is 38 eee and what you want to do then is type space and then type one to force that weather effect to stay there and not change dynamically to something else so this is what happens now we have clear weather as you can see looks very nice and here the what really shows off is how realistic the game looks with the trees and grass mountains and you know it just has a and the emb of course it's a very very realistic look and for me it, i think it just looks fantastic so this is clear weather, but what if you want to have cloudy weather? An example, that will be F4, uh, FW Force Weather 38 uh, EF01 for the cloudy weather. As you can see, we have now cloudy weather with the nice cloud textures also from a mod. Very cool. But then an example, if you want overcast, because that also makes it definitely uh, look different. Let me check. I do have the codes here. That's 38 AAC one. So this is overcast. And as you can see, it has quite a different atmosphere from it, especially when it's more later at night. So let's say or at the evening five, as you can see, it's getting darker already and it changed the game drastically. So when you're playing, of course, I wouldn't force the weather all the time because uh, yeah, that's just a bit, um, uh, it breaks immersion in my opinion, but it's good to test the game. And here is why the I min grass size in, uh, matters because it's the density of the grass and that looks really cool, especially with all the grass mods we did install and the fade distances, which we adjust means that we were able to see so far away and it definitely helps immersion. So let's see, do we want to test another weather effect? Let's say rain, do I have a weather effect for rain? That's 38E uh, F2. So now it's raining. So here you are able to test the game with all kind of weather effects. So let's say, let's set the game out to 12 and let's set it to sunny bright weather. And let's maybe go into the forest to hack dearth. Um, a couple of issues or issues, small bugs you might occur is, I think I said it at the first part, but else let me say it again. There is still some pop up in the game and that's unfortunately really unavoidable. And the reason for that is that this framework framework dates back from 2006. 
we're very lucky that we're able to uh, enable all of these mods because of the one of the reasons because of the four gigabyte patcher and also because uh, we did install a lot of stability mods and that allows us to you know run the game smoothly without crashes but pop up unfortunately i mean now we don't see it much but uh, especially open wide areas have pop up which is just <coughs> unavoidable but that's because again because of the old framework that this game has so let's see um the other thing is and let me sh try to show you that this is a gate to oblivion okay um let's see of course now it doesn't show it but sometimes it could be that you will see a more transculent pop up from the oblivion gate and that's a bug but maybe one of the settings we did did disable it already so that might be the other issue for the rest i think the game runs perfectly stable it's very cool looking especially here in the forest area characters look great the forests look very realistic grass look realistic uh, the textures look realistic as you can see from the stone here i think this version so far is just perfect and especially also with stability another minor issue is by the way i have to agree the the lighting up of stone and that's an emb effect when it's sunny bright weather the stone at the top side may uh bright up a little bit and that's because of an emb but yeah that is what it is i think if that's the worst then i think we're fine and i think we did a damn good job because look how great the forests are and how fantastic the game looks i mean it's not playable again in 2019 2020 when you're watching this probably and the last thing let's see there's one console command if you want to create screenshots you can in type in tm press enter press the console command again and now you have no hut anymore so you're allowed to um, create screenshots without the hut being in the in the screenshots all the time so that's it i would say it's been a long journey again um especially in 2019 because i used monkey M emb and for some reason the game crashed because of that and also i just didn't find the um yeah right result and that's the reason why i didn't uh release any 2019 official tutorial and that's why we are almost at 2020 now while recording this it's uh, 6th of december so yeah I want to say again thank you very much as always to your uh to for your interest in this tutorial for the wonderful support for the viewers i mean this year we reached over 50,000 subscribers which is absolutely insane and it all started because of video tutorials like these i started with skyrim back in 2014 that was my first tutorial very cringy if you watch it back right now but i mean it's kind of like a yeah um like you know where this channel is has all started with and where this is something people ask me every time when is the tutorial for skyrim when is the tutorial for oblivion for this game can you come deliverance you know and every year uh, people ask me so that's kind of like a um the, a very big compliment that people like my guides so that's what i wanted to say here at the end of this video thank you very much every year for your support and of course i will create a new tutorial next year if there are some good new mods um, available because if they're pretty much stay the same that's fine but i think for now this might be the ultimate version so far you can play for oblivion and yeah the game looks great it's a completely rework of the game with all these mods and it's super super smooth so have fun playing the game um please leave a comment in the comment section join discord for questions to get hidden files and then i'll see you guys on discord or on my youtube channel in the comments and again thank you very much for your wonderful support and happy modding and happy playing oblivion take care and bye bye